Hey, good afternoon, everyone. It's Glenn Calloway from the basement. Um, it's Saturday afternoon. I am anxiously awaiting the uh, start of the football games this afternoon at 4.30, and uh, thought I would do a video. I was just watching uh, Larry Graves, the Canadian stud muffin, just uh, uploaded a video on his uh, really cool series he does called Stack 1 versus Stack 2. Um, I am uh, going to so go over to Larry's and watch that. I know you will. Um, I'm going to steal Larry's idea. Just on a one-off, I'm going to do a stack one, stack versus stack two. Uh, I'm doing this to get even with Larry because he's stolen a bunch of my ideas. You guys probably aren't aware. Like, for instance, he stole my idea for... Uh, and another one, he, he's... Yeah, he stole, he stole this... Actually, I don't think Larry's ever stolen one of my ideas. Um, sorry, Larry. Uh, anyway, I'm going to continue on with the stack one, stack two uh, thing here. Now, I've thrown a bit of a wrench into this. I'm going to throw uh, one or two curveballs into each stack. And we're not, going to, uh, we're not going to allow anybody to switch a CD up. So the, the premise of this is, imagine you had to spend a year at Larry Graves' house... And he left his CD there for you in his, in his stereo. And, um, but, you know, you, you didn't want to listen to Sparks albums for a year, so you wanted to take your own stack of music to listen to. So that's what this is. You, you can choose Stack 1 or Stack 2 to spend a year at Larry Graves' house. Um, Larry won't be there, so don't worry about that. And uh, you have to feed his cats. That's all. Um, so let's get started. Like I said, I threw an odd, uh, a curveball in there. I threw one album, like really weird stuff from in each stack for you guys to kind of go, oh, God, that, you know, throw up in your mouth a little bit, but you got to take it with you and give it a listen. So let's try. Stack one. Joni Mitchell, Blue. This is probably Joni's, arguably her best album. Um, I think her most successful or at least one of them. So, Joni Mitchell Blue, great record. Dire Straits debut album with Sultan's a Swing on it and everything. I love this album. It's great. Dire Straits. Number three, Stephen, Steve Winwood, Greatest Hits Live. This is a fantastic live album. It sounds great. It's got all the songs from uh, Traffic, from Blind Faith, from his solo career. Uh, really stripped down band. It's really, really a great, great live album. Another one, Jeff Lynn's ELO, Wembley or Bust. Live at Wembley, all the hits, really good record. Bob Dylan, Highway 61, Bob's classic album. King Crimson in the Court of the Crimson King, one of my top five albums of all time. Prog rock at its best. Oh, Jimi Hendrix. Electric Ladyland. Love Jimmy. That's a great album. Jimmy's masterpiece as far as I'm concerned. Grateful Dead. American Beauty. It's got my favorite song of all time on it. Ripple. The Kinks. Village Green Society, my favorite Kinks album. Jackson Brown, for Late for the Sky. I was going to say For the Late Sky. Late for the Sky, beautiful Jackson Brown album. Most people, can, a lot of people consider this his greatest album. It, lyrically, I think it is, but musically, I really like For Every Man, but this is a really good album. Okay, Lydia Loveless. Lydia Loveless, if you want a mix, punk, American, Americana, and um, country, you get Lydia Loveless. She's amazing. This is a really upbeat, uh, rocking record. Uh, Lydia Loveless, Boy Crazy. Check it out. Really good. Love it. Here's my uh, kind of album where you're going to go, oh, I, I never ever thought of listening to this before. Anushka Shankar. This is... Ravi Shankar's daughter. She plays the sit sitar as well. Great musician. Um, Anushka has tried to bring the sitar into uh, more uh, pop type music in some cases. She still does the you know 
traditional Indian music and stuff, but she tries to make some albums that where, where it's more accessible for people. And this is one of them. It has Nora Jones actually singing on a couple of tracks, who's uh, their sisters that both share their father, Ravi. And uh, yeah, so um, Nushka Shankar, that's my weird one that you got to take. There's no switching CDs here. You go to Larry's house with Stack 1 or Stack 2. So Stack 2, The Who, Tommy. What else can be said? You just have to say Tommy and you know it's great. Every week, Larry and I do a live chat and every week we get asked the same question. Do you guys like Steely Dan? Well, Steely Dan Asia is my favorite Steely Dan album, so I'm throwing it in there. Just um, out of respect for all the people that ask us about Steely Dan. Lana Del Rey. Anybody familiar with this woman over the last few years? She's put out some great albums, and this is my favorite. Excuse my language, but this the title of this album is Norman fucking Rockwell. That's what it's called. They shortened it to MNFR. Um, this is a great singer-songwriter. She writes amazing lyrics, great vocals, um musically really good just a really really outstanding record lana del rey ah rush we go from lana del rey to rush moving pictures my favorite rush album the boss bruce springsteen in the new release bruce springsteen and the e street band the no nukes concert legendary concert e street band at their best fantastic live album you don't like dylan out of stack two or one i mean maybe you like donovan donovan's greatest hits look this guy was a hit monster man mellow yellow hurdy gurdy man catch the wind sunshine superman there is a mountain jennifer juniper wear your love like heaven season of the witch atlantis i mean come on fantastic miles davis bitches brew Jazz Fusion at its best. Great album with John McLaughlin. Uriah Heep. Look at yourself. Look at yourself. Love that album. Rolling Stones. Sticky Fingers. We had the Kinks in one pile. Had to put some more English stuff in this. Next pile. Johnny Cash. This is a... Fairly recent release. Johnny Cash from the Bear Sonic Journals. Bear is uh, Owsley, uh, who did all the sound for the Grateful Dead back in the day and a lot of San Francisco shows. They're finding all his tapes that he's uh, he kept, all his sound, uh, sound uh, tapes. And um, these are, uh, this one's Johnny Cash, April 24th, 1968. Really good. Really good. Tom Petty, Wildflowers, my favorite Tom Petty album. You belong in the wildflowers. Um, okay, here's my oddball one that, that, that kind of counters the Anishka Shankar album. This one might be a little wilder. It's Look at how beautiful that CD is. The best CD cover I own. It's gorgeous. It's gentleman's called Rabi Abu Khalil. The album's called Yara. This is Lebanese soundtrack music played on an instrument called an ode. An ode is a very guitar-like. It's an acoustic instrument, and um, the music is absolutely gorgeous. Really, just amazing. There's like a cello and a... Um, I, wonder if, I don't know if it gives you the, the, the lineup. But anyway, it's, it's a beautiful album. It really is. The, nothing to be scared of. It's really good. Um, yeah, check that one out. So that's my two stacks. So remember, a year at Larry Graves' house, he leaves you his stereo, you got to feed his cats, and you don't have to listen to Sparks records. It's a win-win. And if you're lucky, if you keep the cats well-fed, they won't scratch you. There's the two stacks. I'm going to hold that up for a second. And then you guys are going to choose these stacks. There's no switching any albums because I want you guys to have to listen to those oddball records and tell me what you think of them. So uh, choose your stack and let me know. Thanks for letting me steal your idea, Larry. I'll uh, talk to you guys later. Take care.